What's the deal? It's about Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. My eyes look a little glossy. You know, we had it's, early, it's at the afternoon. We done had some mimosas. You know what I'm saying? Sat by the pool. You know what I mean? We had some mimosas. We then you know sparked up. You know, so so it's been a, a really good afternoon. You know what I'm saying? So shouts out to everybody. Go get your Soul Glow T-shirts. Go to SoulGlow.com. I always get compliments when I wear this shirt out in public. I always get compliments. You know what I'm saying? When I was seeing my mom today. So shouts out to her. And shouts out to everybody, you know what I'm saying, to the whole DNTV fam. I hope all y'all be blessed and have a good day, you know what I'm saying. But um, today's video is going to be kind of, you know, on a different note, you know what I'm saying, a little more serious with Casa. We had another young black man have something happen to him. He lost his life, all right. Um, that was Mr. Jay the Youngin. I know y'all heard about that. Now, Jay, he's a, he was like 24 years old. And he, he got into a, a, a situation where a weapon was discharged at him and uh, he lost his life. You know, I, I hate to see this, you know, and I, my conspiracy brains turned off. I will have my Illuminati. I try to say that I will have my secret society conspiracy video out on my main channel before the DMTV channel. I will have this out for, you know, say just for the blog purposes, because I want a lot of my young black boys to understand this. You don't have to do that stuff. You don't have to be gangster. You don't have to be hard. Cause I, this is how I see it. You know, a rapper lost his life and he brought that upon himself. You know what I'm saying? You see his videos. If you flashing weapons in your videos, you wearing bulletproof vest, you know, you always, all your lyrics is this, 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 I will K-I-L this, K-I-L this, I will S-H-O-O-O-T this. It just it shows that you attract that to yourself, and I don't think that's a good look for a lot of young boys. And a lot of young boys listen to this music. Y'all understand the music has spells in it. I know it sounds like I'm kind of going off, and I know some my conspiracy brains off, but listen to this: the music will hypnotize you. It will have you thinking that this stuff is real, especially for younger children. Look how young Jay the Youngin look. Jay the Youngin looked like he. I think recently he just started getting to his man body. You know what I'm saying? Like he actually gained weight. You know what I'm saying? I seen him recently, like he was gaining weight. Because he always looked like he was about 14. So he just started getting to his age, but he looked real young, so young kids can relate to him. So these younger children can relate to him now. They are reenacting his situations, reenacting his actions, doing what he does on camera. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta look 16 years old. I remember us being 16 and how easily influenced I was. It's real easy, you know what I'm saying? And they will constantly show you that multiple rappers get into these situations, and it's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, my entire breakdown will be on my main channel, so watch that. It's going to be out in a few days. I will have it out in a few days, you know what I'm saying? But um, not in a few days. I'm trying to work on it tonight. But um, what I'm trying to get at is, is that they will show this stuff happening to rappers, so the child who consumes this entertainment will be numb to an okay with losing their life. You you y'all don't understand how many times I've seen young boys be like shrug their shoulders about losing their life. It makes you feel less important. It makes you feel like you're not important. It makes you feel like you have no mission. It makes you feel like you're disposable. You know, a lot of young kids in my neighborhood, I'll see them say I don't care. You know, it is what it is. It comes with its life. If it happens, it happens. And you shouldn't think like that. You know, a lot of young guys who look like me don't value their lives. They don't value what they can do. They don't value who they are. They don't value none of it. You know, it's just like, it is what it is. I'm gonna do this. You know what I'm saying? Live by it, I'm gonna I'm, I'm die. And, and I don't think it should be like that, you know? And seeing this happen to this young man outside of his home, um, it shows that it's all a facade, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people wanna say that, oh, people from your hood, hate on you they hate on you no i don't think that's the case i don't think that's the case because a lot of these other people can go to their hoods and nothing happens to them um i feel like a lot of y'all do a lot of shicey stuff that you don't talk about it, it can't be just the fact you're flashy and people want to do that to you i think you do a lot of shicey stuff you cause a lot of issues in your neighborhoods and a lot of people don't want to talk about that and i want to tell my black men to stop doing that you know watch what you say Focus on what you say. Focus on who you are. And stop bringing that energy towards you. Because if you're getting money, what gives somebody a reason to do something to you or harm you 
if it's all you're doing is getting money. They're mad because you ain't showed them love. It has to be deeper than that, and people are not talking about that. We don't ever want to mention what they're saying in their lyrics. We never want to mention what these guys are saying in the streets. People get real big headed and their egos get to them. And where, I, where we're from, if somebody says something about you, it's like you have to retaliate. And they got us, a, a lot of us in our neighborhoods are brainwashed. We're brainwashed to take on this ideology or take on this mindset that we have to be this tough, psychopathic, uh, belligerent individual just so our respect can be there. You're going to respect me at all times. We, we're, we're caught up into that. If somebody says something about you, you got to take that person's life now. You know what I'm saying? And I remember growing up like that. Like, I remember seeing that. And people were always looking at me like, are you going to let them say that about you? I'm like, I don't care. I don't know who that is. You know, yeah, y'all know me. I was really like, I didn't, I didn't get brainwashing today. I really seen it. And I, I just stayed in my own land. Plus, I didn't want to get suspended. My mama would have tore me up. Just out of mom dukes. My mom came out a lot of a trouble. A lot of trouble. I really appreciate that. My mom came out a lot of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, being called a video game guy, being called a nerd, a geek, I got called all that. I was cool, but I was the only guy in the set of everybody doing that bad stuff who was the geek, but I was accepted because I had my personality still. But I, it's really hard for other people to accept that, you know what I'm saying? And we get caught up in that brainwashing that we got to be gangster. We got to retaliate. We got to be hard. And then that's why rappers push that image so hard so we can grasp onto that brainwashing. That's why every rapper does it. And then that's why you see them all go out like that. Look how it happens in our neighborhoods. Look how young guys will live that life and then go out. Y'all don't think the music had an, uh, an effect on this person's life? You can't blame the music solely. It all goes down to the parents and this neighborhood. Cause we gotta stop, in our communities, we gotta stop pointing fingers at one situation. Oh, it's the hip hop music. It's everything mixed in one. And we gotta start in some spots and some places as well. You know what I'm saying? Because we can always say it was hip hop was the reason, but is is it was it just hip hop? You know, I'm pretty sure hip hop had an effect on them. But I know it's to the parenting, but you gotta look at the systematic what it does. They purposely keep the father out of the home. They purposely inflate the rent so we can work our lives off just to have a place to stay. They purposely make everything more expensive so we can't be around our children. So now the TV's raising our children. They purposely do that. And I want my young black boys to know that we can live better. We don't have to do that stuff, man. You don't have to be that tough. When we look at JD Youngin, like I said, he just got into his man body where he started gaining weight. Like he looked frail as I don't know what. Why did he choose to go that path? Why are you walking around with weapons? Why did he choose that? What happened? Like, I'm pretty sure it was some way how he was raised and people want to pay all oh, the product of my environment. But y'all choose to, to, to pull on that ideology, pull on that mindset. He wasn't built for none of that stuff, man. A dude was little as I don't know what. He wasn't scared a soul. Why did he could have been doing anything else? All them guys is frail. I see why. When he got hit, he probably went straight through. Y'all guys is frail, man. And it's, I'm not saying it, but what your size is. It's all about a mindset, but y'all can be doing other things with your time. You don't have to do that. But these guys follow that brainwashing to where they feel that they have to do it. You know? And I think I'm just over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of seeing it every day. And I feel like a, a being a rapper is the most dangerous job in the world. And you know what it is? It's because y'all attract that life to you. And... Rapping and hip hop has turned to a form to where you got to have weapon bars or, you know what I'm saying? You got to talk about your your nine millies and stuff like that. Now, when I rap, I like to talk about, them. you know, I, I try not to as much as now, but I feel like a lot of guys bring that on them, especially in the videos and then what they do in their regular life. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I really do think it's just not the fact that they're people are like, oh, he was being hated on. So people wanted to do something to him. I think it's less than that. I think those guys... Because you can break bread, man. You can break bread. You can talk. You can look out. But it can be egos. I'm not throwing that out there. I'm not discrediting or disregarding the fact that it could be the fact that people are hating. I'm not throwing that out there. What I'm saying is I feel like it's more to it. I know these guys be talking junk. I know there's other situations where they were doing something. You know what I'm saying? They were... 
They had to be doing something for somebody to want to harm you in that way. That's where my conspiracy comes in. Because what are you doing and what are you saying in these streets to make somebody want to do that to you? And then a lot of our young boys feel like they have to join these um, groups, these G-A-N-G's, S. You know, they feel like they got to join that. You don't have to join that. You know, and a lot of them feel like they have to. You know what I'm saying? And it's all the brainwashing, man. I really want my black brothers to stay away from negativity, man. Stay away from harm. Stay away from issues. Stay away from arguments. If it's not nothing positive, then don't say it. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all get into these situations. Oh, he ain't got this. Why are you speaking on another man for? Leave that man alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you worrying? I'm talking about in person. Now, this is YouTube. I know the way y'all say speak on another man, you speak on the one. This is YouTube. This is blogging. All right, I'm a I'm a uh, a journalist almost. And I'm talking about in the streets, and in the streets you will never see me speak on somebody else personally, unless I'm talking junk and, and picking, and I know this person. But I'm not about to sit here and say something about them and try to cause issues with them. You know, a lot of stuff be going on, and reason why I feel like uh, J D Youngin, uh, T, uh, T, Little Tay J, uh, who else? Uh, King Von, I feel like a lot of those those situations are fabricated. I don't think those are real. I think those are just a way to keep the brainwashing going on for our levels. The the ones I'm talking about are the guys who are really out here living that life. You know what I'm saying? Really going through because guess what? We lost one Jada Youngin. We only lost about 15 Antoines. <laughs> 13 DeMarcos. 15 Man Mans. Think about on a day-to-day -day basis how many young boys, not young, but like or just um, younger guys, younger black guys who go through the same situations as J.D. Youngin, and they're not famous. Just think about that. Think about how often that happens where there's a younger guy who goes through the same similar situation where he lost his life in his home and nobody said nothing, nobody bet an eye. I think it's just jacked up. You know, So I think it's just messed up how we have to go through this stuff in our neighborhoods. You don't see this with nobody else. Why isn't Jack Harlow? Why can Jack Harlow go to his house his home, and he'd be okay. Oh, because he's, he's he's a Caucasian. Is it something up with our people? Now, why do our people hate each other so much that we see them doing well, we want to do harm to them? That's why I said it got to be more than just that. And then why can't we fix our people? If that's the case, if Jack Harlow and Little Dicky can go to their neighborhoods where they're from and nothing happens to them, why is it when we go down there but something happens to us? If you want to take out the fact that, hey, he's probably being disrespectful. He probably caused harm. Let's take that out. Let's say he didn't do none of that. It's simply off the fact what the mindset is. You die in your hometown the most because people be hating. Why doesn't it happen to the other races? Now, if it's simply oh, because they're white, if that's the case, we need to start talking to our people. Grown men need to put out these videos because this is the best way to get to mass people. We start going to these young these young guys. We need to pull up on them in the streets and tell them that they're wrong. We start calling this stuff out, calling a spade a spade because I don't think this is how we need to be living. Honestly. I, mean, I think it's just really... I got all these stains on my shirt. <laughs> okay, told me I had it on my shirt earlier. I had not saying little crumbs. But y'all, it's just how it is, man. We got It's something going on in our neighborhoods where there's a brainwashing of a low frequency that we must attack. Once we fix that low frequency, we'll fix the entire problem. But until then, we're going to have these issues. We're going to have these issues until then. You know, um, I don't know what to say about all that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we can try different things, but we must fix our people's mindsets. Because if you know reason, just because you're rich, you're doing your thing, something happens to you. Because it doesn't happen to Little Dicky. It doesn't have a Little Marlo. Not Little, little Marlo. Um, Jack Harlow. You know, why is it we want to rob our people but when we see somebody else of another race, we don't want to. We must fix that brainwashing. Them Jim Crow laws really got us hating ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I think it's jacked up. I think it's jacked up. But let me know what y'all think, man. That's my thoughts on J.D. Youngin, man. I really hate seeing another young black man lose his life. I really hate seeing it. But, but we got to fix our people, man. We got to. We got to start letting people know, our young black boys know, you don't have to be this. You don't have to be toting. Yeah, I don't own one. I don't own one. I've been left it. I walk every day of my life peacefully. Because I don't attract that stuff. Mentally, I don't attract it. And verbally, I don't be out here because of issues with people. On YouTube, I talk junk. But guess what? I will sue them guys. I will Charleston White them. <laughs> What's the Buddha McClain to McClain TV? Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'm out, man. That's all I got to say about J.D. Yaga.